With Adobe Muse and scroll effects, you can easily create an interactive experience without having to write any code. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply scroll effects to a slideshow to animate that slideshow in the browser. Now, if you're following along with me, you'll want to download the source files for this individual project so that you'll have them available as we go forward. Let's begin by looking at the finished example on scrolleffects.com. So I'm going to scroll down on the page here to the section that's called Scroll Example Slideshow. And we'll go ahead and click on that page. All right, so here we are on the page. And you'll notice I'm presented with some text here, I used. Um, it's hard to tell because I'm sharing my screen with you. But as I press and drag here, as I scroll down on the page, you see that little scroll icon is going away. That's just to help me navigate the page. But as I scroll down, I get to a certain point in the browser where it brings up the next full screen background slide image. If I scroll down a little bit further, once again, it's going to have that nice smooth transition and switch to another slide. So let's go ahead and dissect this and figure out how we achieve this effect. I'm going to go back into Adobe Muse. And here I am in our project file. I want to double click on the begin underscore slideshow page. Now, there are elements here that are more about the overall design. We're not going to pay too much attention to them today. But you'll notice I have that anchor link that, when clicking on this icon, takes me lower on the page. I also have an arrow that, when clicked, takes me back to the parent home screen on that page. If I zoom out, you can see it's a nice tall page. That allows me to have enough runway, in essence, to scroll between all of my slide images. What I want to do is have open on my desktop here my widget library panel and my scroll effects panel. You can access those from the Windows dropdown. In the widget library, I'm going to go ahead and select under slideshows the full screen slideshow widget and press and drag that onto the canvas. Now, that slideshow widget has a standard set of options. I'm going to adjust them to work specifically with this scroll effect feature. So under Transition Horizontal, I want to change that to Vertical. The defaults of Fill Frame Proportionately are great. Transition Speed, I'm going to slow that up to, let's say, 0.8 in speed. And I'm going to turn off Autoplay. I definitely want the slideshow to transition when I'm scrolling, not automatically play in the background. So that's all good. Um, by default, the previous, next, and counter buttons are turned on. I'm going to go ahead and turn those off. And then the last thing I want to do is come in and add my own images. So in the Add Images area here, I'll click on the folder. And I have a series of images that were created in Adobe Illustrator and saved out as a JPEG file. So they're a flattened image from Illustrator. And they're what we're going to use today. You can use a wide variety of slideshow content. You can even take video content. And if you trim it down to less frames, um, you can import that slideshow. And as you scroll through a uh, website, you would see that background video almost quote unquote play by way of the slideshow feature. So I'll come in and I'm going to Shift Select 1 through 6 here, click Open, and actually place those in the background area. Now, if I don't like the order in which those slides have appeared, I can always turn on the thumbnail view of the slideshow. And that lets me see exactly what that sequence is. Let's go ahead and take a look here. If I zoom on in, I've got the first slide being I used to think. So I'm just kind of clicking through these thumbnails and confirming that the sequence of the slideshow is correct. It looks good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out again. And let's go ahead and turn off those thumbnails because we don't need them for the finished version. Now, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and take this content and send it to the back. That way, those navigation elements that I do have available will be there for me. Let's make sure that worked. Yep, we should be good. All right, let's go ahead and see what we've got so far in the browser. So if I pull down on File to preview the page in the browser, I've got that background slideshow, but nothing's really happening. And the reason is that it's just a slideshow that's not set to play. It has no navigation. What we're missing is adding the scroll effect aspect of that design. So with this object still selected on the canvas, I'm going to now come to the scroll effects panel. And what I want to do is instead of clicking on motion or opacity, I'm going to go to the third field, and that's the slideshow field. And I'm going to click to enable the slideshow. Now, I can choose that at a certain point in the progression of the browser, that slideshow automatically begins to play. 
Um, in this case, I want it to go ahead and switch sides every, let's say, um, 50 pixels is probably going to do it for me. So I now have that set to automatically happen as I progress down the page in conjunction with the scrolling. So I'll pull down on File to preview that page in the browser again. All right, so here we are on the page with the scroll effect applied to the slideshow. And you'll notice as I scroll down on the page, it's kind of hard when you're not the one doing the scrolling to see this, but as I scroll down on the page, it's transitioning to the next instance. Now the truth is, I only did it at 50 pixel increments. That's a little too tight for what I'm doing. So let's loosen that out. Let's set it to more like 500 pixels so that we have a little bit more scroll time between pages. I'll once again preview in the browser. And let's see if we can get back up to the top. Okay, so starting at the beginning, we've got I used. I scroll down about 500 pixels. It takes me to that next increment. All right, so that's a little bit about how scroll effects integrate with a full screen slideshow to give you this nice full screen background animation. I encourage you to go ahead and give it a try.